Hey, welcome back everyone. So this is the part two uh, of our Let's Play series here in the beginning. Uh, they want us, I believe, to go and kill these fox thingies. So it's tab targeting. Uh, if you have an enemy that is too far away, the game won't um, let you use your skills on him, which is kind of interesting. There might be a way to make it run to the character. And every time you attack the enemy, the uh, the little text comes up like "battle started," so it it alerts you and lets you know that you're in a fight. So you have to be close to the enemy to loot them as well. Uh, it doesn't let you. Okay, cool. So we got open skills. Skill tree. There's tons and tons of depth to these skill things. So we're going to open the um, freezing arrow. Confirm. Now we'll drag that down here. We'll see what that actually does. Should freeze. Freeze is an enemy dealing under for and reduce moving speed. Yeah, very typical for ice um, spells in MMORPGs to actually slow. So it's the opening chain. It takes a long time to cast. We can see it slows them dramatically. This is very, very basic. It has a longer cooldown than the fi uh, fire bolts. It's different uh, collecting the loot and stuff with with F. They want you to use the F button. Uh, I'm typical, typically used to picking it up with with like right click and holding down Shift. So that's going to take some time to get used to is the F button. Learning skill skill points if using skill windows. Um, okay, to add new skills, you drag them. Shortcuts, yes, you can assign, they all have a number button, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Very, very basic stuff. What is this thing over here? Uh, enhances Surrounding Watch. So this is a buff statue. Recover some of the XP loss to praying statue. So this looks like when you die, you... Ooh, change skill set and receive a blessing. No XP loss. So it looks like when you die, you have to go to the statues, and the statue will restore your uh, XP. It's very interesting how the um, tab targeting doesn't select the closest unit. It just selects, like, one of the units. They also have a unique comboing system with um, skills. You'll notice, I don't know if I have anything that will combo right now, but it's nice that they give you a dash in the beginning as well. Because, I mean, obviously, the beginning is tutorial type things where you're going to be running and talking to people, drag shortcuts to the shortcut bar. Uh huh. Okay. Why won't he go away? The pet system in this game is really nice too. You actually get a pet, um, and he actually helps you attack, and you can uh, ride him as mounts. Comfort for the cubs. Um, I didn't really read, but I'm pretty sure it's um, playing with one of these because I watched the video of this. So the person's going to go play with the little pet. You have to play with your pet to make it happy, uh, make it stronger, uh, give it more you know, love and ex like experience. Every time your pet is out with you, they'll gain experience. You can also, I think, gain experience by um, actually like playing with it and you know teaching it tricks, probably. Okay, you seem to get along quite well. Hope you have a good master when you raise your own. So that will probably be the very first pet that they'll give you. Okay, so we're going to head over there. And it's really nice that these, um, these quest arrows 
they show you where your objectives are. So that's Shift T. We need to move this one down to. Let's move it down to number two. And oops, I just lost the archer. Well, we're not going to be using that, but I should figure out where those keys are. Do you know O brings up your folio, which means pretty much everything in here. I is I is your items, your bag. K K is normally skills. Okay, yeah, basic. Melee, kick, shoot, arrow, yeah, okay, basic, so number four. And you drag it down here to your skill bar. Let's see what else they have in here. Report on Authorx program. So a bot reporting thing, which is good because you want to keep this game as clean as possible. Uh, if the, I mean, that's the only thing that could ruin the game. This game is totally economy driven. Uh, materials and crafting is heavy, heavy focus on this game. So if there's a lot of bots, it's going to ruin the economy. Writers escape. Teleport your pet to safely. Trap and train. Drop trade pack. This is like you can um, drop an item for someone else. Requires a pack equipped in your tree. Glide. Yeah, the, you have gliders in this game for like flying mount type things. And you can actually like do ambushes and come in and like attack with your glider. They have like special stealth gliders and like, um, like gun gliders it look like. This is recall. Instrument dash. A lot of dancing too. You'll unlock tons of those. Okay, proficiency. Looks at tons of different things. Logging. Husbandry. You can get married in this game. Construction, handicraft, alchemy, cooking, farming. This game is pretty much a like a crafter's paradise. They said that you can actually um, level up to 50, which is max, by just like crafting and gathering things, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. So it's really up to you how you want to play. See here. I've been waiting for you. Let's see. So the day has finally come. Okay. Okay, so our flame bolt went to level two now. So your skills level up. You can become your classes like a hybrid of three different um, classes. And you can see this is the alpha. And there's already tons of people that have just joined the the alpha and purchased the founder's package. So you can see a good, what, 10 people right there, just in the little beginner area that means they just purchased the package. Uh, this game is going to be huge, huge, huge fan base uh, for this. It's been out in Korea already for about a year and a half or two. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but it's been out in Korea for a while. Okay, so we're going to get rewards. Oh God, okay, yes. So the quest log, there's a quest log bar. It shows you all your stuff over here. Last episode uh, in progress. So we can show you on the map. And down here is also the other, so we can open up the quest log. 
I'm surprised there's not a little um, chat bar thing with a quest log over here at all. Of course, you can scroll in, get up close views of these weird creatures. This thing's really cool looking. It's a warehouse, so you can deposit your goods in there. You can store 50 things. Uh, you can carry 50 things on you that aren't coins. It looks like coins have their own separate... Or no. Okay. Yeah, your coins, your money is right here. And then you have all your items, which you can carry 50 there and 50 in the warehouse. You'll probably be able to upgrade that and carry more on you. Uh, teleporter. This looks to be like a binding point. Yeah, your recall point is your binding point there. Uh, mailbox is how you send and receive uh, letters and stuff. Very basic MMO stuff. What is this? So a lot of things you can interact with. Whispered memory tone. To record your current location as a recall point. So another recall point. So it looks like anytime you see those books, it's going to be a... Um, a recall point. One's over here. And it looks like two is right here. We have to do something. Let me see. Quest log. Okay, what is this one? Map. Coins. Whispering fly, right click to use. Okay, so they gave us an item. Okay, whispering flag. One, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't look like they have a quest item bag section yet, which is going to suck because in MMORPGs you get a lot of quest items. And they just take up bag space. It's really bad. That's one of the nice features that Aeon did, had a, a separate bag that was infinite for uh, you know quest items, so they didn't take up your inventory space. Okay. Yes, we're a true warrior. So. Can't figure out what that is. That's in some different language. Find Sanish at the base of the cliffs to begin the final leg of your coming of age ceremony. Okay. The spirit will test you. And then it also shows you on your map over here the um, like the numbering system. So one is giving you an area where all the uh, quest monsters are for one. So it looks like we have to kill these... I don't know what they are. Looks like a bird, maybe? We'll just shoot at it and see. Okay, it's not a bird. That looks to be like a plant. So again, picking up items is F or G. Go over here. I'm sure you can probably set up macros as well. Since we're typically always doing the same um, setup, we're doing the frost spell and then the firebolt. Looks like we're going to have to wait for the respawn, so everyone here is doing the same quest. They respawn fairly quickly, it looks like. So it has a, a range up there, so it shows you 17.2. I'm sure the spells here probably have a indicator. Yeah, 0 to 20. This is probably 0 to 20 as well. You always want to attack at maxed range. So your character has a lot of room to uh, maneuver during the fight.
Oh, there's a big guy. Let's see what he does. The creatures in this game look really, really cool, not your basic generic, like, uh, oh shit. Your, like, wolves and dogs and little rabbits. I mean, this is the very, very beginning, and we're already fighting cool looking creatures. I'm gonna go rush over there. I don't know if they're aggressive if you just walk up to them. Probably aren't since this is the beginner area. We'll see. We're gonna walk right next to him. Oh, yeah, he looks like he is aggressive, actually. I don't think they'll be able to kill us in the beginner area. Uh, I think the game's not going to be that unforgiving. Definitely no Dark Souls here. They typically make the beginnings of the MMOs uh, super, super easy, so anyone can pick it up and learn the basics and you know have a good time. They don't want it to make it punishing, uh, punishingly difficult. Which that's something that I just got done playing with Dark Souls 2. Uh, that's what it's known for, is being punishing difficult. Definitely very rewarding. Oh, it appears you can, um, can, like, left-click these creatures to pick up the loot. Let's see. Yeah, you can um, shift left click to pick up the loot, just like most RPG games. So it's shift and then right click. I'm going to kill this one, and that's going to be it for this episode here. So very cool. The creatures have a nice animation when they die. Ooh, what's over here? And it looks like these are what you can gather. Oh, we're supposed to gather things for a something. It's a two of five for something. Collect per all oh, in progress. Okay, so it's for a quest. So we need to find one more of the little flowers. Don't forget to use your uh, rushing ability. Definitely speeds things up. Looks like I, I wasn't close enough to gather them. So you can do first person view as well. Oh, we got two skill points. Open skills. <laughs> Increase specialization. Hmm. Oh, well, I have no idea what to use on those. Skill sets. You learn new skills or check your vocational preferences in the skill window. Access window pressing your skill icon in the K. Okay, so we'll press K. Uh, combats. Skill points. So I wonder if we can... Do we have to... Use one skill point... I think, okay, oh, okay, use one skill point, so once you've unlocked it, you don't have to use any more skill points to get it again. So yeah, so you don't have to, I've already unlocked it, so it doesn't do anything. So now, I want to click off that. I want to use my point to buy this. Oh, why is it not? Learn skill. Why won't let me learn this one? Okay, level 10. I have to be a level 10 character to get that one. So this one, I've got to be level 15. So I can use it on this. Sorcerer upgrade, uh, increase mana, max mana, 10%. So, yeah, sure, we'll go ahead and use that. So that unlocks this down here. 
and it opened up my secondary skill set looked like over here. Oh, I see. So you pick a different class, a different like sub skill set. So witchcraft. So I think these right here are showing you which ones they recommend. So we'll go witchcraft. Because you do want to have three, because uh, they all level up um, at the same time. Ooh, interesting. Uh, magic attack plus 240%. Calls forth a hand from the ground to hold the enemy, inflicting snare. For 12 seconds, deals 120, man 120 magic damage on expiration. Snare ends if enemy receives damage. Oh, very cool. So it's like a uh, root or a snare. So we'll confirm that. We don't have any more points. Oh, we do have one available. And a range, magic range boost. What does that one do? Increase the range of sorcery skills. Oh, that's very nice. Five meters increase. So now all my stuff is going to be uh, at 25. Oh, yeah, it's really cool. Because the range of a spell is super, super important. So now we're already at 25 meters on the spells. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. And I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, and we'll get more gameplay out for you shortly.